What is up guys, Cam's Kicks here bringing you guys another video. So today I am starting a new series, I'm pretty excited. I'm still in Connecticut for a little bit longer and I'm obviously in West Hartford. I'm going to a sneaker store in New Haven, Connecticut. It's called Exclusive Cops, so I'm pretty excited. Now for this new series, I'm gonna be DMing sneaker stores first on Instagram and telling them that I want them to create me a mystery box and I'm gonna go into the store, show a little bit of it, maybe show their employees, kind of see what they're about and then I'm gonna bring the mystery box back and review it, talk about the shoes inside it, show you guys what you can kind of expect and see if the value is there. I'm going to kind of start comparing the mystery boxes once I start with some other stores and see which store can make me the best mystery box. So this is obviously the first episode that you guys are going to see. So I don't have anything to compare it to, but obviously I know if the mystery box will be good or not. Now for this one, I told them that I have $2,000 and I'm going to be coming in and I want to buy a mystery box. So it's going to be a $2,000 mystery box. Definitely excited to see what's going to be in it. And hopefully it's some good stuff. And I got about an hour to an hour and a half drive. So a little bit of a drive, but I think it's definitely going to be a cool experience. Experience. I'm very excited for this, so stay tuned, guys. Yes. All right, guys, I'm finally here an hour and a half later. I just stopped at Wells Fargo to get some cash because I didn't have any cash and obviously I don't wanna pay on card. So I got the money that I need for the mystery box. About to go in and see what's up. This is New Haven, Connecticut, like I mentioned before. Never been here, definitely interesting. The store is a little bit in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of a standalone location. It's not like in the mall or anything crazy like that. So kind of excited, gonna see what's up. Stay tuned, guys. What's up, man? How's it going? How's it going, guys? What's up? Cam, nice to meet you. What's up, man? Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. What's up, man? How's it going? How you doing? What's up, bro? Nice to meet you, bro. What's going on, Noel? What's up, man? How's everything going? Good, good. Excited. Never done this before. I wanted to reach out to some stores and see if they'd be interested in making me a mystery box. And this is the first store I reached out to, so really? pretty, pretty excited actually for this. pretty exciting for us, yeah, too, definitely. we were excited to make this box for you. Oh, nice, nice. Is that it right there? This no, is no, no, definitely no. Oh, I was going to say, I saw Air Yeezy. I was like, whoa, what is this? But you already know what this is, Cam. Yeah, I want to see that. Oh, the, the blanks. We have the whole Yeezy oh, set. Oh, no, the whole Yeezy set? Except for the red eye. Bro. Oh my god. Everything okay. but the Red October. So did you just bring this out to show me? Um, kinda. But okay. it was also kinda okay. like- Oh bro, that's all my size too. <laughs> bro, I wanted the solars for so long. Listen but... bro, it's actually our size. So yeah. it's- Are uh, like you guys a... all wearing nine and a half? That's like a, I'm like a 10. Nine, a ten. I'm a nine and a half 10. I think the I mean. ones run small. Where's the twos? That I'm unsure. Run big, whatever, whatever. <laughs> that I'm unsure. Cause okay. I only have okay. the um, solars and I had yeah. a nine and it fit me perfectly. Bro, but so I'll, 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 I'll put a crease protector for that half size. What are you asking on the solar? Just curious. I don't think we'd split it at yeah, all. I think You'd only sell the set? We'd literally only sell the set. And I don't- What are you selling the set for? 20K in trades. Friends and family, Travis Lowe's. So yeah, no, crazy shoe yeah. for oh, sure. Shoe. I need. Is that shoe dropping for it's like I don't think it is. It, it, it's not confirmed it's coming out of the white, the, the white brown, brown one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. That's sick, that's sick. But literally, we need a worn nine and a half for October, because they're all worn. Right? What's your favorite out of the set? If you could have one of them, let's Probably, go around, let's see. I think most people agree it's that yeah, one. I, think it's I want the Solars. If I could have one, that's the one I want. This is definitely the Solars. It's definitely one of the No? Yeah, maybe the Solars. Maybe the Solars? Okay. This is a close second. Like this is definitely a close yeah. second. This I like the blinks. Cool. I used to have these actually. I had them really? once. I got. I actually got this pair in a mystery box, like when I first started reselling. Are you familiar with Ron Two at all? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So me and my buddy, and then Al. I wasn't there this day though, right? Okay. We were at Round Two, and yep. what we do is we'd stand on the corner of the sidewalk, <laughs> right? <laughs> bro, bro. I used to go to Round Two all the time. I went to the one in uh, VA, Richmond, Virginia, and then I, I went to the one in New York, and people would just be outside there, just like the trash yeah, by that's everything. where they would hustle. So I was, I was one of those bleachers. Okay. And, I respect uh, it though, I respect the hustle. It literally was a huge part of the come up. But That's what's up, man. But it's so funny because one time some guy was carrying duffels and right? Yeah. And it's so awkward just like kind of going up to people sometimes. Cause <laughs> like, they're like, yo, are you trying to jump me or whatever right, it is, right. right? And so we meet this guy, he pulls out a DS Easy One Blink. Okay. So he pulls okay. out one of these. Was um, it that exact pair? No, it okay, was, was, it was not that exact now, pair. But... Funny enough, it was the same size though. Was it? Okay. Um, he pulled out like a DS Chicago One, a LeBron yeah. Cork, a LeBron South Beach 8. Like okay. this is all like a couple years back. 
exact somewhere, not everything was hitting. And we ended up paying, I think, $1,700 for the blinks. Wow. Consigned them at stadium goods for $4,300. <laughs> Did it sell? Six months later, I see four, like a $3,420, like after their consignment fee, like that's sale, insane. like in the bank. So it was no, like, I guess that was worth it. It was definitely money. worth yeah, it, bro. Definitely, man. That's what's up. Cool. And you don't ever see anything like that, DS. No, you, you definitely don't. These are all worn. Yeah, These we actually bought the set in here. Someone bought you bought all head. five of them together? At one time, yeah. That's insane. Should we tell them the story of how we bought it in here? <laughs> sure. There was this gentleman selling, I think it was One Pigs Fly SPs on Facebook Marketplace. Okay. And the person that was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace was like, you don't have that shoe and I have some other crazy stuff. Yeah. And so he messaged him, hey, like send me a list of what stuff you got. And this ended up being one of them. So they met in New Haven. Uh, I think they were both from like different parts of Connecticut and they met in New Haven. They ended up coming here to legit check everything and verify everything was authentic. And we saw these boxes. I don't know, I thought it was phone posits when it Yo, came in. Yo, yeah, same. Like, yeah. When they came in, like usually when people come in with a bunch of like broken boxes, we're like, oh, it's definitely some. So it's, it was crazy when they opened up and it was this. What do you think it was? I wasn't. I don't know, bro. Because I kind of recognized the guy that came in. Yeah. So I was like, Hold up, is what's coming in here like the craziest thing I've ever seen? And when he saw this, we're like, bro, like this is the craziest thing I think any store could just even see coming in to their store. No, store. most definitely. And, and we could not let this out. So, but, so yeah, it was like a legit check. So we had to swoop in, had to be like, yo, you guys finished what you gotta do. What do you want afterwards? So he's bought them from the guy. And then he wanted to immediately flip them or what? No, so he... This was like... A week before the documentary came out too, yeah, so like everyone's so we like were, going crazy the trying Kanye to find documentary. Easy. Yeah, geez. yeah, that made everything go up, didn't it? I think reds are now like twenty, yeah, twenty-five thousand dollars. It's insane. Right after the documentary, it's the same thing like the Last yeah. Dance, Michael Last Jordan. Dance. And we were going yeah. crazy. Me and him were like, "Yo, we gotta find the Yeezy set. We gotta find at least a PS Red October." Because we were like, "Yo, we don't want to have like that FOMO of like mm. you know missing out on Red October shooting to like whatever it did." And they did go up, but at least we have this. He didn't sell them to us immediately. He had to go run back to work. We kept in contact, I think a week later, he ended up coming in and... Wow. So what are you asking for the set? I don't know. Like, we, if you had to take a cash it, price, what would you pay? It's a high ball at 20, <laughs> we know that, but it's because me and him don't care okay. to hold it for as long as possible. Okay. Like, I feel like it just, it's just something we don't even really want to sell. It's a and a half set, which is like, you're That's not like, splitting up a size either. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Are you open to offers or, or no? I think we can talk, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I might be interested, but I don't know. It's insane, right? Bro, hold on. Before we do anything else, too, look at what he has on feet. The <laughs> Dornbecker <laughs> floors. Yo, just casually wearing those. And what do you guys kind of know about this Supreme box holder right here? That's the Witch box holder. Isn't that what yep. it's called? Witch yeah, that's box a box undercover. I actually won this in like an auction, one. to be honest. No, you don't see people wear that anymore, so that, that's yeah, dope. Yeah, I man. got lucky. Like, it's the only shirt I have to match the DV4. <laughs> no, that's a good fit, like, honestly. Of which have been ones like Superman, so it's like kind of funny how they just are opposites of each other. Let me ask you this too. Do you guys make mystery boxes, or was this kind of like a special request? We only, we only have... did one mystery box. It was right before okay. we opened the store. It goes, yeah, I wonder if you guys want to make me a mystery box. Yeah. And I gave him a ton of my personals, bro, which I kind of regret, but okay. listen, you always get everything back. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's I sell my collection off all the time and then just keep buying just it back. Like, it's back. Always in rotation. It's kind of how it is. That's really dope. Cool. You're pretty excited for this mystery box? Bro, Is definitely. this your first one, by the way? No, not first mystery box. I've bought a lot of mystery boxes, but I've never gone to a store requesting a mystery box. I've always wanted to try it, so okay. I'm gonna try it with some other stores in the future. This is just the first one. Okay, so uh, one thing that I know that we were trying to do when we were deciding what we wanted to do when you hit us up yesterday yeah. was, are we gonna do like more heaters or more kind of like smaller items and okay. kind of like just have more variety so you'll have a surprise. Okay, now I'm excited. All right. I, I'm not gonna open it here, so I'm obviously gonna pay you. I'm gonna oh, show okay. the store a little bit if there's anything else you guys wanna talk about and then I'm gonna open it up when I get back home, so. Okay. What really moves well is the two to three, sometimes even $400 hoodies, just cause people really wanna wear it for the night and they'll yeah. probably never wear it again in the area we're at. So do you not move stuff like the box it, logos? It moves, but sp to the specific person, cause a lot of people don't care that it's just an expensive hoodie that has a yeah. box logo on it. Yeah, as, as long as the like yellows someone... match up, they're happy. <laughs> okay. I okay. feel like that's a big thing, as long as the People like what match. match. Like, some people rather much have something dope like, like this. Like boom. Than a box logo. That could yeah, work. Okay. You know, like a, something cool like so this. It's honestly mostly just like logo stuff. Like, let's say there's a box logo that's 500, but there's like a Supreme item with a big logo that's like a lot cheaper than like not as hype. Yeah. They'll take the cheaper one that says Supreme on it hmm. because they want like a flashy piece to take a picture and go to an event and then that's basically it. So what's your most expensive of clothing items you have here. We had some crazy. We had you stuff some crazy stuff. I'm trying to think. I would say What's the best piece you have right now? Not necessarily most expensive, but like best piece you have. You think? 
We just sold our Coma de Garcon box. So we'll go to okay. Whitey at Buried Souls, actually in Stratford. This piece is sick. The Junior is cool. Huh, um, I've never seen that. What is that? This is the Junio Watanabe okay. uh, Coma de Garcon Supreme collab. Very nice. Really dope piece, in my opinion, at least. Uh, what yeah. some other those that one recently came out. Obviously, some of the newer stuff with the pink box logo. Yeah, I was it, telling them. It, I didn't even know they retro these, like yeah. the season 21. They made a bunch of colors, so they made the pink. To be honest, if we're back in 2014, these are $1,000. I know, and now the market is so dead. This one is crazy. definitely my The brown one, I love that. Like, brown. Is that the same color as the mochas? I wonder if that would be a good fit. That, that one right there. This one's sick. Okay. I really just like the this S one. Logo, simple. You know, just the S logo, but then you have like all the colors. Yeah. So it just pops really nicely together. It's nice. a little darker, but I, I think you could probably do it. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> you said maybe you could. <laughs> he said no, that's a bad fit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was just you guys don't know how to dress. Is this man the, the best dresser here? What do you think? Yeah, man. Like, he's a no? king. So oh, I'll definitely stay with a Nike tech suit. Bro. Okay. It's clean, bro. I like it. I like it. Thanks. He has at least 100 tech suits. 100, <laughs> <Dude>, 100 <laughs> tech suits? Yeah. If not 200. He really beat 100. the TikTok hype by <laughs> many years. <laughs> <laughs> Some people got a sneaker collection. This man's got a tech suit I got collection. A sneaker collection oh, too. Oh, He's got both. This man said he got both. Okay. This has been for like 30 years. So you have a really good collection. Yeah. Like insane collection, you think? It's yeah, it's, it's a lot of it's a, okay. it's a lot of the stuff that you don't ever see. Us like. aged kids won't yeah. have. What's your craziest pair? You think that you have? Something that like people just don't see. Listen, I'm actually waiting for this to hear this one too. You don't even know? Yeah. His I don't know. I have stuff that, like, back when they used to do the Air Forces that had, you know, um, faces on the side. You know, I have stuff like that. Bahamas, all kinds of just sneakers. Have you seen Mayor's seen. sneaker collection? I know he has a lot of stuff like that, like one of ones. You know who Perfect Pair is? Yes. Yeah, he has some dope stuff like that I've seen. So. Yeah, so I mean, I, I've worked in retail since I was 20. So you, you, know? you just had access to the stuff forever, yeah, basically. And yeah. back then, you yeah, could people get a didn't discount. Care. Exactly. And people weren't, there wasn't a lot of hype and like saving the shoes, mm -hmm. so we weren't. The market's definitely completely so different it's, yeah, now. It's yeah, it's completely different. It's, it's so oversaturated. So. Yeah, because now, like I tell these guys every day, I'm like, I can't imagine that I'm moving <laughs> so much after being in this field for 30 years. Yeah. You know? No, like, for sure, it's man. It's crazy. It's changed so much, but I like it. Yeah, just in the few years that I've been in it, it's, it's already changed so much, so it's, oh, yeah. it's crazy. It's, yeah. Every day is changing. We yeah. talk about it all the time, how like, you used to be able to get deals on stuff, but now everyone no, is everyone, the highest payer. Like, exactly, like everyone's a reseller nowadays. Like, but you have to pay top dollar to even get what a store needs. I know. There's nobody selling slides for cheap, there's nobody selling foam runners, foam runners yep. for cheap. Good GRs. You know? like, like, it's a competition between every single reseller in the and world. And who's gonna pay the highest, and then at the end of the day, people always try to outdo each other, so. At the end of the day, the stores are usually gonna pay the highest. Exactly. Because we need it. And another thing is for Connecticut, I would say stores have just, they're just popping up like wildfire. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, they, they <laughs> like that's are, another yeah. big, big thing, like when we first opened. Well, what would you say made you wanna open a store? Like, Listen, honestly, we've been reselling for such a long time. It was kinda overdue, I would say. Yeah. But it just really came about having the right team and just the right timing of exactly. everything and I used to have a tech shop that I was you know fixing phones computers things like that hmm. and Al calls me one day and he goes yo let's open up a sneaker store together and we've teased the idea for years and <laughs> okay. years to come but this one I just he kind of like dragged me out of it in a good way and I, I'm just like so happy that he gave me the he because exclusive cops was his page beforehand yeah and so yeah. he just gave me the opportunity to open it among with him and here we are today. That's awesome, man. Yeah, glad to hear. And uh, so, little thing I'm gonna talk about real quick. Now, this is just an idea that I have. I wanna execute it. So, one big video idea I have, it's gonna be a big series, because I plan on doing a lot of series coming up. I wanna do a pop-up shop in every single state in America. So, 50 states, 50 pop-up shops, and what better shop than this one right here? This is the one I wanna be at in Connecticut. So, comment down below if you guys wanna see that, but I think we should make it happen. What do you guys think? I'm down. You're let's down? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, coming soon, guys. Within the next few months, I wanna try to make it happen. So, we're definitely gonna have to do that but this is the box right here this is crazy is it full it's, yeah it's full Wow, okay. I hope this will fit in my car. Because I probably should have emptied out my car, but I, I'll make it work. We'll make so, it work if we play Tetris. Yeah, Tetris, hey, that's the way to go in sneakers. But yeah, I'm about to give them the money and I will unbox this when I get back. So stay tuned, guys. Look at that. They're dead right? Yeah, they're dead 2000 Black Metallic Fives, look at that. That shoe's older than I am. I was born 2001. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
OG box. It's nice. Very much not wearable anymore. Yeah. I mean, you kind of see in the cracking. No, that's just a pair that have on display. Yeah. The card is right behind. Oh, you have the retro card, card too? Yeah, retro card. Retro yeah. Box. That's something they don't do anymore. Nope. That's yeah. what my favorite boxes were never put out. There's yeah. Jordan Even face the, box. Like 2016, the flu games, those had the retro card. Yeah. 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 Like, this the, um. Oh, that's a 2009 pair, right? 2009 pair, yep. That one you don't see very often either. That's dope. <laughs> you know, you don't see a lot of these cool retros anymore. University Blue Fives. You don't see much people with the yellow original Thunder Fours. Yeah, yeah, and yeah those then, are dope. Not the white cements, but the free throws. Oh, okay. You know, I very see nice. some, some cool stuff you don't see. We try to carry variety, so you know, aquas, okay. Mocha threes, nice. This one has gone up a lot in value. People slept yeah. on that, but now since there's so much mochas out right Definitely. now, like, people want that. I mean, Ooh, Chicago twos. That's a classic one. Dope store. So who do I pay now? That's the question. Me, I guess. Okay. <laughs> you wanna you can pay me. count this out? I got this I got 2K you. for you right here, man. Yep. Thank you, fam. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Yep, 2K. Okay. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, I if I get to the next, because I told them I'm going to another store today. It's going to be in the next episode. But if I get there and I only have 1,900, I think I know why. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm just playing, man. <laughs> no, but I, I appreciate everything, guys. Really Thanks, dope man. store. I'm excited to see what's in this Yo, box now. Up, and <laughs> excited for what we can do in the future. What's, what's up? YouTube. Oh, I got a YouTube channel. Oh, word? Yeah, it's Cam's yeah, Kicks. Check it out, man. I'm gonna subscribe. Appreciate that, bro. I'll yeah, write that for you, all right? Yeah. What's up? You yeah. already know. Yeah, get hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Bronx, man. You don't okay. remember me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you cash out on all the shoes, bro? That's light. You know what we do. Okay, that's what's up, bro. Got it, got it. <laughs> your, boy, your boy was like, yo, they call us 400. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I came here for a reason. You're like, let me get them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got you, bro. Man, nice. Doing doing. Thank you, Cam, for coming by. It was yeah, actually no, really dope you meeting you. Pleasure meeting you guys. We had a sure. great time, and we can't wait to see you for the next one, buddy. Yeah, and let's do the pop-up, man. Let's pop make some next. Yes, I'm sir. very excited for that. Awesome, man. So one, this is the box do. right here. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Let me take that up. And uh, now the question is, how am I going to fit it in my car? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so just got back. Now, big shout out to Exclusive Cops. They were such dope guys, had such good, genuine conversation with them, talked a lot about kind of my next journey and what I'm gonna be doing, and they were just really cool guys, had a great experience there, so big shout out to them. They said the mystery box is really good, so I'm hoping it's good. I haven't opened it yet. I'll kind of pick it up so you guys can see it. It is in a Home Depot XL box, and yeah, pretty heavy, so. I'm guessing it's gonna be some good stuff for sure. Excited to see what's in it, and I guess let's start getting it open. So first thing I see inside is a cause shirt. So that's interesting. I don't typically do clothing, but maybe they just wanted to add a little bit of extra value. I'm sure I can move it. Guessing it's probably brand new. Yeah, the tag's still attached, so I'm pretty sure it's brand new. Size medium, pretty nice. I'm guessing this is probably worth about $80 if I had to guess. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's about the value of a cause tee. So it's a size medium, not bad. Okay, we got a empty box. Could probably use that for later. Um, what else do we got in here? Okay, so I see a lightning four box, a union four box, a Sakai box, and a Yeezy box. I guess we'll go with the Yeezy box first. There's a ton of shoes packed in here, so it's looking good so far. All right, first shoe, we got the Green Glow Adidas Yeezy Slides, so definitely not a bad shoe. This one is pretty popular right now. The Yeezy Slides are definitely in style. I don't know exactly what this pair is going for. If I had to guess, I'd say somewhere around the $200 range, so got about 10% of my money back. I mean, it's a start. There's a lot more shoes in the box. I'll hold it up one more time so you guys can see it. Don't know how well you guys can see that, but that is currently what is inside the box. So like I said, there's a Lightning 4 box. Guessing it's obviously gonna be a Lightning 4, unless it's a replacement box. Okay, it is indeed a Lightning 4 and dead stock. Two dead stock shoes in a row, so I'm not sure if they mix new and used or what they really did, but this is brand new right here. The Jordan 4 Lightning 2021. Great shoe for sure. This one's a brand new size 10. This is actually my size. I did have a personal pair, I sold mine, but I don't think I'd on DS a pair. I'd wanna buy a used pair if I did buy one. This one, if I had to guess, probably somewhere around the $300 range, so we're around $600 total in value right now. I could be wrong, but I think it's around $600. This is all gonna be an estimate. I'm gonna pop up like the real value on the screen most likely, so you guys will see that. The next one, we got a Nike Vapor Waffle Sakai. Now, some of these actually have some pretty good value, just depending on the colorway. Ooh, okay, this is one of the OG pairs, I'm pretty sure. This is one of the first ones that released. I forget the exact colorway on this, let me read it. It's the Tor Yellow Gorge Green Sail Tor, I guess, I, I don't know. It's Tor Yellow, which I think is like the main colorway, and then obviously the Gorge Green as well. So this one I haven't had in a long time. Honestly, I have no idea what these are going for. This is a brand new size 11. I'm guessing everything's probably gonna be brand new in this box, because they said they do buy used shoes, but they don't sell them on the shelf. They just kinda 
that sell their used shoes to bulk sellers. So unless they did put some in this box, I'm not sure. But I'm guessing so far, based off of the three shoes, that everything's gonna be brand new. So I wanna look the value up on this one, actually. I didn't think I was gonna look up value, but where's my phone? Oh no. Okay, I'm back. I found my phone. It was in a different room. Let's look these up because I honestly have no idea what they're going for and I don't want to tell you guys the complete wrong value. Easy slides and like lightning force, stuff like that I get all the time so I can definitely kind of estimate the value. But this one I haven't gotten recently, so let's see. The lowest ask is 371. So these are somewhere around the 350 to $400 range. So let's say, give or take, we got about $1,000. So pretty good because we only got three shoes so far and one shirt and I already got half my money back that I paid. There's still one one, two, three, four, five, six shoes left in the box. And by all the boxes, I'm pretty sure I can tell what they are except one. The only one I don't know what it is, is the Nike box right here. I'm guessing it's a pair of Dunks, but this one I'm not too sure what it'll be. So this shoe, I don't know guys. I think we're gonna have to go back to this one too. It's a Union 4. I'm not gonna read the colorway, but there's some expensive Union 4s for sure. Let's do this one. This is one actually, I don't know what it is either. It's obviously a Yeezy 350, but I don't know the exact colorway. So I guess I'll read it, MX Rock. Okay, that's not a bad one. This this one's a little under $300. I think I could probably get around $300 for this one. And let me make sure it's brand new though, of course. I think it's brand new. Okay, yeah, the tag is still attached, so. Still brand new. This one, I'm just gonna estimate at 300. Could be a little more, could be a little less. Again, these are all just estimates. So now we're at about $1,300. So we're doing good so far, $1,300. Now $700 left to break even, so okay. I said I wasn't gonna do this one right now, but I just looked at the colorway. Bro, the Guava Ice Union 4s. Tell me these are dead stock too. Bro. Dead stock Guava Ice Union 4s. Let's go. Look at that right there. Such a beautiful shoe. Brand new, size eight and a half. Can't beat that at all. Let me look at the other shoe, make sure there's no problems with it, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. Lace bag still attached. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, dead stock pair of Guava Ice Union 4s. This one, again, I probably wanna look up. I have had these not too, too long ago, but I wanna tell you guys kind of the exact value that they're going for. If I had a guess, I would say somewhere around $700, which would mean I'm at break even point already, and there's four shoes left, so that would be crazy, but let's see what it's going for. Yo, I was exactly right, look at that, guys. Hopefully you guys can see that. Last sale was $700 exactly. That was a really good guess. So we're at $2,000, I already made my money back. And there's four shoes, very good boxes. This Dunk one I'm gonna save for last. It might not be anything crazy, but the reason I'm saving it for last is because I don't know exactly what it is. So we'll see. It might not even be a Dunk, we'll see. This one, pretty obvious, you guys can tell what it is. The Jordan 1 Pollen, and this one's a size five and a half Y. This one doesn't go for anything too crazy, but I'm pretty sure it'll hold at least some value. I think I'll be able to get at least retail, which is 140. So if I had to guess, I'm just gonna put it at 150. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna put it at 150. So we're at 2150, already making some money back. That's like what, seven and a half percent markup right there. Then here's a really good shoe. Again, you can just obviously tell by the box what it is. It's a pair of Oreo Jordan 4s, size 10 and a half. This one has to be used. Everything's been brand new so far, so I'm pretty excited. Bro, what the heck? This is like one of the best boxes I've ever gotten. Look at this right here. A brand new Jordan 4 Oreo, size 10 and a half. Now, I don't know if you guys have studied the market on this shoe recently, but these just keep going up because it looks so similar to the White Cement 4, and this one's a lot newer, so people would rather get this one now, I feel like, a lot of times. So I don't know what the value is. Let's see. Size 10 and a half. If I had to guess, probably around 450. Yep, pretty close. Lowest ask is 460. So it's honestly worth around 500, but I'm just gonna say 450 just for the sake of it. So that's what, 2600 if I'm doing my math right? So 2600 and there's still two shoes left. What the heck, bro? Bro, that's literally insane because just that right there is a 30% markup. I can't even imagine. This box is gonna be worth like three grand. What the heck? Cause this shoe right here, look at this guys. Unless this is a replacement box, that would be very cool. I don't think it is, but okay. Some exclusive cop stickers. Shout out exclusive cops, man. Focus on that, yeah, look at that right there. Such a great store. I, I can already tell, this is gonna be dead stock. This is just insane. Bro, they did not have to do this. Like, this box is amazing. Look at this right here. A dead stock Jordan 6 Travis Scott in the British khaki colorway. This is a dead stock size 10 and a half, brand new. I, I'm like speechless right now, because this is such a good box. Like, the last mystery box I think I got was from Direct Kicks, and they gave me an amazing box as well. But this one, I don't know, this might top it because the value here, the value is definitely here. Like, let's look up the shoe right here. So that's a size 10 and a half. I'm guessing that's around 500 if I had to guess. Let's see. Okay, so last sale, 527. 
Lois asked 485, so I'd say it's worth around $500 easily. So, bro, we're at $3,100 right now, and I still have one more shoe. I might have been hyping this shoe up too much because it's a Nike box, but I don't know. It might not be anything crazy, but even if I didn't get the shoe, even if I didn't get the last shoe, the value would still be there, but all right, this is crazy. Wow. Okay. I mean, this is nothing crazy. This is probably worth about 200 bucks if I had a guess, but that means that this box is worth like $3,300. What the heck, bro? And of course, brand new. Literally everything was brand new. This is absolutely insane. I paid $2,000 cash. You guys saw it. I gave it to him cold, hard cash. And this is what I got in return. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pairs of brand new shoes and a brand new cause tee. Like beautiful box. Thank you so much, exclusive cops. If you guys aren't following them on Instagram, I'm definitely gonna pop up their Instagram right there. If you're ever in New Haven, Connecticut, definitely check out their store. It's such amazing people there. And I'm definitely gonna do a pop up there in the future. So comment down below if you guys would wanna see a collab like that. Like I said, I wanna do 50 pop ups in each state over the next year or so. So that's gonna be a crazy new series that I'm starting as well for Connecticut I think what better store to do it than exclusive cops thank you guys so much make sure to like comment and share this video if you're not already subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button down below turn on post notifications and lastly follow me on Instagram at cams kicks official I'm gonna be posting some updates there if you guys want to stay up to date with me I'm also gonna be posting inventory on there once I start reselling again so you guys are definitely gonna want to check that out and also comment down below some video ideas that you guys have because I have some crazy video ideas right now I want to hear your thoughts where you guys are kind of thinking but you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned too because this is going to be a series i'm actually going to another sneaker store today and i'm giving them two thousand dollars to make me a mystery box as well so i'm definitely going to be comparing this mystery box to what they give me so you guys will have to tune into the next episode that'll probably be out in about a week or two so you guys will want to stay tuned for that but thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night